Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Nitsa and today is our subscription box from Crochet Society number 50, our reveal of the winning project. Thank you to each and every one of you who voted. There is a clear winner now and I have finally made the project and I'm bringing it to you. So I'm going to pop my clipboard down who has all the stats on it of um, the voting. But I will let you know a little bit and just remind you of what was in this box and of course what the projects were before we reveal the winner. So in this gorgeous box here, it says be bold and bright. And let me tell you, the eight balls of yarn that are in here are definitely bold and bright colours. Each and every one was beautiful. I absolutely love them. But of course, you know, this is my favourite. But this is just a 100% acrylic DK weight yarn. And it is super soft acrylic. So I don't know if that's a premium acrylic or it's just the way that it's made. But it definitely is beautiful. And if you guys haven't already noticed... The ball bands match the boxes nowadays, which I think is brilliant. So eight balls of 50 gram balls each, which made it 400 grams of yarn. I thought that was very generous. Now, when we did the unboxing, you may remember that there were two hooks in there. And look, I've still got two hooks. So they're four millimeter hooks, polymer handle clock hooks now i did write to crochet society and i did let them know that i had an extra hook and i asked them if they'd give me a reply paid post each address to send it back but they said just keep the hooks and at the same time i did let them know that there were some pins missing the little t pins that are for blocking and as you can see i've got a pack here because they instantly sent it out so the customer service i have to say is brilliant so those of you that may not have seen these before, that's what they look like. You actually just pin them into your little boards. And they get, did give us some foam little boards so that you can pin down your... Where can you see it best there? So you can just pin down your squares and things, whatever your crocheted items are. And then you can, you know, block them out to the size that you would like. I don't do very much blocking, but I have done some in the past and pins always come in handy. So as I said, this little pack of pins that was missing from the box is now here. Didn't take very long to come. And like I said, there were no questions asked. They just popped it in the post, which was brilliant. So I'm going to pop it into the box now. So what were the three projects that we had to choose from, you ask? If you didn't see the unboxing and if you haven't, go and see it because everything will be in detail there. So first of all, we have this beautiful beanie. Now, the designer for this box was um, Realm Designs, R-E-A-L. And we know that the um, designer's name is, if, if you don't know who she is, it's Beth Povey or Povey. There she is there. So I really like how they do this little crochet, like a chat tea and chat so you get to know the designer a little bit but as you can see she is very much into the bold and bright colors she does an amazing job of that i really like her work uh follow her on instagram so we had the blueberry beanie back on task and then there was this beautiful little over the rainbow basket very very pretty and then we had the mandala hoops So, which was the winning project, you ask? Well, let me tell you. The first project, which was the beanie, got zero votes, which was very surprising. The second project, which was the beautiful little rainbow basket, got 13 votes. And lucky last, the mandalas got an overwhelming 25 votes. So they were the clear winner out of 38 votes. So thank you, like I said to each and every one of you, for deciding which project I was going to make. And with cheerleaders like you, you know I got the job done. So they gave us these um, hoops here to use for the mandalas. And these are actually embroidery hoops. One size 15 centimetres, and I think the other one's about eight from memory. But I just couldn't bring myself to use these for the actual mandalas because most of you that have been with us for a while, you know that I like to use the hoops, the metal hoops. Now, I had bought these at Team Moon not long ago because I love the different sizes because you can imagine a wall full of them with the various sizes would look beautiful. So I actually put my mandala in one of the hoops, which was the 15 centimeter one. Whoops, let me hold it up for you. I only made one because the other one, the other one was this size in here. It was just tiny and I just thought I'd don't have a hoop that small right now. If I do in the future, maybe I'll make it. But if not, this was a joy to make, a very, very quick project. And like I said, this yarn is beautiful to use. Imagine it up on the wall, guys. Look at that. 
it would look very very pretty amongst all the others i'm not sure if you could see it that far away but it certainly does have beautiful colors in it so once again we can tick off that we've actually completed one of my goals for 2024 which was to make at least one project from each and every box and you know what um i was almost going to make the basket as well because i did have a lot of time to do it it wasn't about the time factor it was just about the yarn because he did um say that we should use two strands of each yarn to make it and I thought to myself, well, obviously there's not two balls of each colour in there. Maybe there was a typo. But then sometimes some designers get you to use the yarn from the outside of the ball band in the middle to hold it. But as a few of you said in the comments, it would make a very tiny basket, even if you just used one strand to get around the whole thing. So I just thought to myself, I'm not going to um, make a basket using this very, very soft yarn because I could probably apply it to something else. Even the, you know, the hat, I could have made the beanie, but I just stopped at the mandalas. So do I think that this box is worth its money, which is about, I pay about 65 Australian dollars per box, which includes delivery. So that's the beauty of having the subscription box. You actually get it delivered to your door as well at a very reasonable price. And I'm going to say yes, definitely. I'm so happy that I did receive this box. And if you get the opportunity to purchase it in the future, because they do have the boxes on sale sometimes, this would be a great one to get because eight balls of this gorgeous yarn is really, really worth it. Um, I, I was very pleasantly surprised that it didn't take me any time at all to make that mandala. And it really made me smile because I thought I could have whipped out quite a few more. And who knows, maybe in the future I will. But in saying that, box 51 should be coming to us very, very soon. I'm guessing, um, what month are we now? October, maybe the beginning or end of November, because I know that we'll have one more to do before Christmas time. So look out for that one. It'll be box number 51. That's crazy, right? I just love that. It's actually nice that they're by monthly they're not monthly anymore because you do have uh like an opportunity to make more projects or at least finish one before the next box comes so that's it guys thank you so much for hanging out with me once again once again another completed project i'm so proud of myself and thank you for coming along just to see what the result was because it was you guys that bought it to fruition it wasn't for you voting we wouldn't have this gorgeous little mandala to add to the wall and i really do need to get that wall sorted it's just time guys i want to make sure that i get it right so it's you know visually pleasing for all of us so i hope you're all keeping well and until i see you all very very soon i'm sure that it won't take long before we're together again take care everyone bye bye for now